As I mentioned earlier in our Google Classroom, we're going to be working on editing videos. And we're going to use the tools that are available here within the Google Classroom. Excuse me, the Chrome base. So what I'd like you to do, if you'll follow my cursor over here to the far left-hand side, we're going to click on the launcher. Here in the launcher, you'll find several different things. For example, we can see the camera that we use for our, a lot of the photo editing that we just completed. If you click on the up arrow, you can scroll up and down through this until you find what's called Video Recorder. That's the one we're going to use right now. So when you click on Video Recorder, it will open up this page. Be patient, give it a moment. Right now it's asking if you're going to allow it access through Adobe Flash Player settings. We need to allow that for this program. Some of the other ones may not need Flash Player, this one does. So we're going to click here where my cursor is and say Allow. You can go ahead and choose Remember or you can leave it alone. If you choose Remember, it will not ask this again. If you leave it alone, it will ask it again, but just clicking there is not much of an issue. So it's not a big deal. I will click Close. Now it's connecting. Right up here, it's asking if you're going to allow it to use your microphone and to use your camera. Again, choose Allow. Now you're getting a video. If you'll notice down here again in the lower left-hand corner, we can switch over to Photo and we can switch back to Video. You need to make sure you pay attention to the microphone. When you click on this microphone here in the lower right-hand corner, when you click on it, you can see that it's picking everything up. But also notice I have an option that I can pick up everything or pick up just you. I recommend that you pick up just yourself, otherwise it'll pick up the students that are sitting next to you. And this will help eliminate that and give you a clearer voice. And then internal mic. So really we're going to be using the default pick up just you. And then close. From there, up here in the upper left-hand corner, you have your settings. Camera, microphone, mirror, full screen, quality. We're very fortunate here at the school district that we have very good bandwidth on our network. I recommend high quality. Now, this goes along with what we've discussed, however, regarding frame rate. And you need to make sure you understand that carefully. If I click on microphone, it'll go back. If I could pick up camera, it goes back to the camera settings. So pay close attention to all of those settings and what you're doing there. Now we're going to leave it in mirror. We're going to hit close. I'll have the high rate. Now, when I click on this red button here, that's when it's going to start. So here we go. Three, two, one. You can see up here on the timer that it's moving. That indicates that it's uh, actually recording what I say. Also at the very top of the screen next to your camera you'll see a little white light. Again that indicates that the camera is operating. Every now and then as you hear me talk you can see right here this little green level indicating how well or how loud my voice is. When you get to the stopping point you can click right here where it's now a red square it will stop what you're working on. Give it time to process. This does take time. Don't be impatient, but also pay attention to the end of the class period. If you don't give enough time for this to end, then you may have to stop it and you may lose all your work. Because when you do video editing, you're editing hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of frames. 32 frames per second. It's a lot of information that you have to process. And so make sure you give enough time for your system to process what you're working on and save your work. Now, I can come over here. It's ready to save it. I can record a new one. I can play and watch what I've already done. I can sit here and fast forward through it. But I can also save. This is critical. You do not want to lose all your work. So click Save. Now, it's wanting to know, where do I want to download? 
If I download the video, it will save it directly on this Chrome base, which is fine so long as the Chrome base still has enough memory, nothing happens to the Chrome base, and I don't end up moving you to another unit for one reason or another. The safest place to do it is click on Google Drive. There you go. It's now saved to Google Drive. Ah. Apparently I didn't click enough. You might want to click it and make sure that it says file was saved to Google Drive. Once it says that, then you now know where it's at. And any device you go to that you log in with your school account, you will now be able to see that, that video clip that you've created. Click on an X, and now you could go in and do another video if you needed to, or stop and work on that video. I'm going to conclude this video on, those, on that note. Make sure you pay close attention. Watch closely to your time. You can quickly run out of time. I understand you want to play around and act silly. Save that to the end of class. Let's stay focused on our assignment. A lot of you are missing work just because you forget to turn it in or you run out of time because you're mismanaging your time. Thank you.